For honeybees, the San Francisco Bay Area traditionally serves up a year-long feast. There's usually something blooming. Alameda beekeeper Andre Kruglikov. His business, Twin Bee Apiaries, is buzzing. He sells about a thousand pounds of raw honey a year, all made by the bees in his backyard. People apparently have a lot of interest in local honey. But when the conversation jumps to climate change, the honey farmer grows concerned. It's not just warming, it's a climate disruption, right? So you have a cold and wet spring, and then, and then basically the bees, they build up their population, and there's not enough nectar. The warming planet, changing climate, and loss of habitat all pose a threat to bees by depriving them of the floral diversity they need to survive. Add to that mites and viral diseases, and the bees are in trouble, which threatens our food supply. Honeybees pollinate 70% of the world's leading crops, including fruit, vegetables, and nuts. Honeybees are really crucial in today's world for our diets. Dr. Alina Lastro Nino of UC Davis is an expert in honeybees and beekeeping. She says this past year was particularly bad for bees. Beekeepers have reported losing uh, approximately 60 percent of their colonies, which is really huge. Now, some hope. European researchers have just invented a superfood to protect honeybees from the growing threat. The work that we did here represents a major technological breakthrough for the beekeeping industry and for food security um, and global pollination. The scientists first identified six key components in pollen that benefit bees. Then they genetically engineered a strain of yeast to produce a precise mixture in a sustainable and affordable way. The colonies, given the food, thrived and boosted reproduction. So that's really exciting. To engineer the yeast, the researchers used a Nobel Prize winning tool called CRISPR-Cas9, first identified by UC Berkeley scientists. Bay Area technology, it's even cooler to um, have that be a part of developing this diet. As for Andre, news of the breakthrough was sweet. If you come up with some means of improving their longevity and improving the likelihood of the hive succeeding and surviving and continuing, I think it's wonderful. And that is the best kind of buzz.